Bronchiolitis is a condition characterized by inflammation in the bronchioles of the respiratory system. It is usually caused by a viral infection, with respiratory syncytial virus being the most common causative organism. Infants of age less than one year are commonly affected, and in most cases, the disease is self-limiting. The disease is mainly transmitted through direct contact with respiratory secretions. In addition, aerosol transmission and transmission through vomits are also possible. Risk factors for bronchiolitis include prematurity and low birth weight, low socioeconomic status, overcrowding, parental smoking, congenital lung diseases, severe congenital or acquired neurological disorders, and immune deficiency. As already mentioned, the commonest causative organism is respiratory syncytial virus. Others include rhinovirus, human metapneumovirus, influenza and para-influenza viruses, adenovirus, coronavirus, and human bocavirus. Infection with one or more of these organisms lead to inflammation in the bronchioles, causing excessive mucus production and airway edema. This will result in airway obstruction, ultimately leading to increased airway resistance, alveolar collapse, and ventilation perfusion mismatch. Now let's discuss the signs and symptoms of bronchiolitis. Initially, infants become increasingly fussy and have difficulty in feeding. They will also have a low-grade fever, choresal symptoms and nasal block, and apnea, or temporary cessation of breathing. With progression of the disease, infants will have cough, difficulty in breathing, and wheezing. Severe bronchiolitis can progress into respiratory distress with increased respiratory rate, cyanosis, and intercostal and subcostal recessions. As mentioned earlier, in most cases, the disease is self-limiting. Some rare complications include acute respiratory distress syndrome, bronchiolitis obliterans, heart failure, secondary bacterial infection, arrhythmias, and chronic lung disease. Diagnosis of bronchiolitis is primarily clinical and based on signs and symptoms, patient's age, and seasonal occurrences. For instance, bronchiolitis is more common during the winter. Tests are typically used to exclude other differential diagnoses. Finally, as far as the treatment is concerned, no antiviral therapy exists for most causes of bronchiolitis. Treatment is mainly supportive, which includes symptomatic relief, oxygenation, and hydration of the infant.